Hi right, everyone, this is a review of the Tillamook uh, ice cream. I'm gonna go over basically the ice cream ingredients, how it tastes, and my thoughts on it. So let's jump right into it. Uh, most ice cream you get is probably not gonna be healthy, um, and the ingredients are probably gonna be really bad. So you can see right off the bat it says made with extra cream, which uh, it's probably not good for the health, but a lot of people don't care about that. So let's jump into it um, So basically we can see here there's nine servings per container two-thirds of a cup Not even one cup uh, Is about 230 calories. So that's That's like three times the amount of a coke can so uh, Looking at it here. You got 23 grams of total sugar for a two-thirds of a cup serving size so that's a hell of a lot of sugar in consuming but let's continue here and look at the ingredients we've got cream skim milk milk sugar corn syrup uh, looks like uh, cocoa uh, cocoa uh, cocoa um, which is a different is not the same as cacao nibs is uh, cocoa um, the lesser uh, quality one uh, coconut oil condensed skim milk um, pasteurized egg yolks water be bleached wheat flour uh, another uh, cocoa uh, with that butter fat vanilla extract targum gargum soy uh, lichen natural flavor which is terrible salt pectin butter baking soda Xanthan gun, vegetable shorting, soybean oil, pomo. So, the ingredients in this are probably taking you straight to the grave real quick. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's great ice cream. I have tried it. It is good ice cream. But, with these ingredients, I mean, uh, you got cream, which is probably not good for you. Definitely not good for you. Skim milk, milk. It looks like they got another condensed skim milk. Um... Right off the bat, the sugar is not good, the cream is not good, the cream, uh, corn syrup is terrible, uh, coconut oil is not the best to consume, it's not the, the, the best oil, but the, the worst is the vegetable shortening, the soybean and palm oil, that's the cheapest oil they've got out there. Um, pasteurized egg yolks, uh, those are not good, you want un unpasteurized is better, but pasteurized egg yolks, uh, bleached wheat flour, butter fat, I mean that's another one, targum, gargum, natural flavor like I was saying earlier is terrible. Uh, so this this product here, uh, their, their slogan is really creamy, uh, but there's a cost to pay for it being very creamy. Now, does it taste good? Yeah, when you put a lot of sugar, cream, uh, vegetable oils and all that, uh, it's gonna taste delicious, but uh, not everything that you know is good for you tastes delicious, right? So Would I recommend this? Uh, if you're a healthy person, I would not recommend this uh, ice cream uh, I would recommend maybe Other ice creams out there like we've got rebel. This is probably the best ice cream out there if you're very conscious of your health um, Is a low-carb keto no sugar added ice cream and we can go over the ingredients right here okay we got cream which right off the bat we already know is not good uh, water cookie dough erythro uh, erythritol which is a uh, type of alcohol for sweetening you got butter water natural flavor which is again bad baking soda not good uh, you know we go down the list the rest of it is not too bad you got natural and vanilla flavor it's okay. Egg yolks are not pasteurized, so that's good. Vegetable glycerin, uh, not that good. Natural vanilla flavor again. Peruvian uh, carob gum, gargum, salt, monk fruit. Um, you can see right here the sugar. So you got zero grams of sugar. Sugar alcohol, like uh, we discussed earlier, is a lot in there, but that's uh, a lot better. So you can see right here, uh, 92 grams. Of, of this serving is about 220 calories uh, 3 grams of protein we go over here 
same thing, about the same. Uh, protein is about four grams, but you got a hell of a lot of sugar. Uh, you got saturated fat, eight grams, total fat, 13 grams. So, saturated fat here, 12 grams, total fat, 21 grams. So, this is because it's cookie dough. It's not the healthiest one, but, uh, of course, this is healthier in terms of ingredients. Not all the ingredients are terrible. You got some ingredients that are not good, but it is better in terms of the sugar content, is better in terms of the ingredient standpoint. It is more expensive, so you're gonna have to pay more for this, but I recommend maybe getting the Rebel if you could. Now, there are healthier ones other than cookie dough. The cookie dough makes it pretty damn bad. Um, so, with that said, hope this was informative. Was, hope it was helpful. Press the like button if it was. Subscribe down below if you have a better ice cream out there that's healthier. Happy to hear your thoughts and uh, check you guys out on the next video. Thanks.